Hi, and welcome to another episode of Very Good Questions about Van Gogh. Today I'm asking the question, did Vincent Van Gogh believe in God? We know Vincent Van Gogh as one of the greatest painters the world has ever seen. But did you know that as he grew up, he had his sights firmly set on an altogether different career? He planned to be a Christian minister, a preacher and a pastor. Why? We need look no further than his family. His father, his grandfather and his uncle were all in the clergy. And Vincent wanted nothing more than to follow in their footsteps. So at the age of 23, he starts out as an assistant to a Methodist minister in Isleworth, near London. And he throws himself into this work with all the passion that we later see in his paintings. But just five years later, and back in the Netherlands, he point-blank refuses to accompany his parents to church at Christmas. Whatever can have happened to take him from being a postulant minister to this? Because in those five years, he was no slacker. He started the process of theological training to become a fully ordained minister, and he explored different types of ministry including spending six months as an evangelist to the coal mining community in the Borinage, which is in Belgium. But despite all of this, by Christmas 1881, he is refusing to go to church with his family. And later on in 1884, as he looked back on this phase in his life, he wrote to his brother saying, I have seen right through present-day Christianity that icy coldness mesmerized me in my youth, but since then I have wrought my revenge. And after his father died in 1885, Vincent painted this still life. The Bible is a Van Gogh family heirloom. And there are a couple of things to notice here. First, the candle next to the heavy old Bible has not been lit, or it has gone out. Secondly, Vincent has placed a well-thumbed yellow paperback next to the Bible. This is a copy of Emile Zola's La Joie de Vivre, The Joy of Living. The symbolism here is not subtle, and the old religious way of his father sits in stark contrast to Vincent's own brighter experience of life and joy. So does that mean that Vincent became an atheist? Fortunately, we don't need to guess here because he gives us the answer himself in another letter to Theo. You see, I find the God of the clergy as dead as a doornail, but does that make me an atheist? The clergy regard me thus, que soi, or whatever. But look, I love, and how could I feel love, were I myself not alive, or were others not alive? And if we are alive, there is something wondrous in it. Call it what you will, God or human nature, but there is certainly something that I cannot define using a set system, although it is definitely alive and real. And see, that for me is God, or as good as God. So Vincent might have abandoned organised religion, but he never dismissed all notion of God, he went on to develop his own spirituality based on his respect for love, art, truth and his overwhelming appreciation of nature. We can argue back and forth whether this could be called a religion or not. He insisted that God, or whatever God was, could not be defined systematically. How he saw God was quite some distance from the more reverential theologies offered by organised faiths. He thought of God more as an artist whose creation showed clear signs of genius but, like an overworked sketch, was sloppy and rushed. He remained fascinated, however, by Christ's humanity and regarded Christ's teaching as a set of lofty ideals and even after abandoning formal religion, he continued to paint religious pictures and religious thoughts came to him during those awful attacks when he was in the asylum 
and these thoughts brought him consolation. The rumour of Tolstoy's book, My Religion, reached him and greatly appealed to him, less for its denial of any afterlife and more for its advocacy of a faith without any cruelty. Vincent hoped to find in this a religion that would not increase human suffering, but instead could bring consolation, courage, serenity and energy, among other good things. Thank you for watching. I hope that this goes some way to answering the question, did Vincent van Gogh believe in God? Please subscribe if you'd like to be alerted as new videos arrive. I find van Gogh endlessly fascinating. If you do too, you might be interested in this book, Vincent van Gogh and the Good Samaritan, The Wounded Painter's Journey, which will be available as of November 2021, published by Darton, Longman and Todd.